97.1 The Fan, Mount Carmel, NFL Injury Report. Welcome to the Fantasy Draft Preview Edition with one of the experts in orthopedic surgery at Mount Carmel Hospitals, Dr. Hurst. Fantasy football managers are trying to draft the best players coming off injuries. What are your biggest tips on the type of injuries to watch out for and avoid when drafting players in your fantasy draft this year? Well, it's probably the most important injuries to think about are hamstring injuries. They happen all the time. We don't really think much of them. But if you really look back at some of the players that have been plagued by them, you'll see that it, it, it results in a lot of missed games. And uh, Andre Johnson is one that rings a bell from last year. And, you know, the problem is, is that with hamstring injuries, they take a long time to heal in reality. And these players get back or they're maybe pushed to get back a little bit too soon. And for that muscle to heal back down to that long tendon takes a lot more time than I think they give a credit for. So they end up getting back too soon and they re-injure it and they re-injure it again. And you'll see these players go in and out throughout the season until they get some time off to heal them. Any other advice? Well, with regards to hamstring, you look out for DeMarcus Ware. He's having one right now on the defensive side. But other injuries I would think about would be foot injuries. There are lots of little foot injuries that can plague uh, players. Uh, in particular, we've all heard about turf toe injuries, which is an injury to the underservice of the big toe. That took out Deion Sanders. Javid Best is having some problems with that right now. Another injury to the foot is called the fifth metatarsal fracture. That occurs on the outside of the foot. The problem with that fracture is that there isn't a very good blood supply to that bone. So it can take a long time to heal. Case in point is Hakeem Nix. He had injury of that fifth metatarsal. Had to have it fixed, and he's just going to get back for the probably the first game, I would think. And then Matt Schaub had that Liz Frank, which is one of those really devastating devastating foot injuries to the mid portion of the foot like you saw that one little injury to the foot took him out all year and i get worried about players playing at the same level with mobility when you have these foot injuries what players should you avoid in this draft the one that stands out in my brain is austin collie thanks dr hearst we can't wait to catch up with you guys